In this video, I am going to explain anatomy of deep leg muscles. I am going to explain three muscles today. First one is this one. This is tibialis posterior. Tibialis posterior. Next one. This is flexor hallucis longus. Flexor hallucis longus. Third one is this one. This is flexor digitorum longus. Flexor digitorum longus. Let me explain these origins first. What is origin of tibialis posterior? It originates from both fibula and tibia. So, tibia and fibula. Plus, there's one more origin. There is membrane between tibia and fibula. This is interosseous membrane. Interosseous membrane. That's it. Tibia, fibula, and interosseous membrane. Let's move on to flexor hallucis longus. It originates from fibula plus interosseous membrane as well. Okay, this is origin of flexor hallucis longus. Let's go to flexor digitorum longus. It originates from tibia. That's it. Very simple, correct? Tibialis posterior and flexor hallucis longus originates from interosseous membrane. Again, this membrane connects tibia and fibula. So when this membrane gets tight, that kind of closes tibia and fibula. Okay, movement of tibia and fibula is important for ankle movement. Okay, mobility of tibia and fibula affects ankle movement. Now, two muscles out of three muscles attach on interosseous membranes. What happens if these two muscles get tight? That tightened up interosseous membrane. What happens then? That can affect movement of ankle joint. That is why interosseous membrane is important for ankle movement. Anyway, this is origin of these three muscles. Let me explain insertion. This is inferior view of foot. Let me explain insertion of hallucis longus. This is flexor hallucis longus. Insertion is this part. This is distal phalanx of big toe. Distal phalanx of first toe. Phalanx means toe or finger. And distal part of Big toe, fast toe. That's it. Very simple. How about flexor digitorum longus? Other phalanges right here. Distal phalanges of second through fifth. Okay, that's simple. However, tibialis posterior has many insertions. First one is right here, medial part of foot. This is navicular. Navicular. Plus, there are three cuneiform in foot. One, two, three. This muscle attaches to all three cuneiforms. Cuneiforms, by the way, this is medial cuneiform. Intermediate cuneiform, 
and lateral cuneiform. Many more things, which is second through fourth metatarsal. Metatarsal bone is this part. Tibialis posterior attaches to second, third, and fourth metatarsal. So, Tibialis posterior attaches to seven bones. Navicular, one. Three cuneiforms, four. Second through fourth metatarsals, seven. That's a lot, right? Now, let me explain function of these three muscles. This is medial view of foot. This one is tibialis posterior. This one is flexor digitorum longus. This one is flexor hallucis longus. There are two functions that all three muscles can do. One movement is plantar flexion. Plantar flexion. Plantar flexion is like a pointing out toe movement. Okay, but how? Because all three muscles cross ankle joint like this. When these three muscles contract, that bring foot this way. What kind of movement is this? This is plantar flexion. And one more movement. These three muscles can do inversion. Again, these three muscles run in medial part of foot. So when muscles contract, that brings kind of this way, that is inversion. Again, common movements of these three muscles are plantar flexion and inversion. Now I want to focus on two muscles movement. Tibialis posterior and flexor hallucis longus maintain foot arch. Foot arch. Basically tibialis posterior and flexor Lucis longus. I think flexor digitorum longus also has important role for foot arch, but I think tibialis posterior and flexor hallucis longus are more important for foot arch. Anyway, these two muscles are important for foot arch. Now, how about flexor hallucis longus and flexor digitorum longus? As their name indicates, they flex toes. Okay? So, function of flexor hallucis longus is flexion of big toe. And flexor digitorum longus flexes other toes. Flexion for four toes. Particularly, flexion of Big toe is very important for athletic movement. When you run, when you support a body weight, big toe needs to flex and needs to exert a lot of power. This is important to sustain body weight and it's important for explode power. Very important movement. Anyway, all three muscles can do plantar flexion and inversion. Tibialis posterior and flexor hallucis longus are important for foot arch. And flexor hallucis longus and flexor digitorum longus are important for flexion of phalanges. Very important movement. So in this video I explained basic anatomy of three deep leg muscles tibialis posterior flexor hallucis longus and flexor digitorum longus if you liked today's video please hit the like button comment and subscribe see you next video